warm welcome to journey another day with Jesus into your promised land knowing his will and submitting to his voice Greetings in Jesus name welcome to this beautiful new morning wherever you are let us quickly become sensitive to the fact that the presence of god is here with us this morning wherever we are praying from wherever we are listening from the presence of god can minister to us right where we are seated right where we are working the presence of god it is all powerful it is all able will you trust him will you allow him to just speak to you will you allow him to mold you mold your heart mold your life today if you will yield yourselves to the lord if you will yield your homes and your environment your work atmospheres to the lord and to the control of his presence a fresh revelation is waiting for us a fresh perspective is waiting for us let me read for you first chronicles chapter 13 and verse 6 the bible says and david and all israel they went up to beala that is to kiriath jerim which belonged to juda in order to bring up from there the ark of the lord which is called by the name of him who sits enthroned above the cherubim The Bible is explaining to us how David he went up to this particular place in Judah to bring down the ark of God. See the ark of God was where the presence of God dwelt literally physically personally. Now David he had his goal his eyes fixed on the Lord and upon his presence. For him that was top priority. And the Bible says He wanted to bring down the ark of God from where it was left during the days of Eli and bring it to Jerusalem to the place to the city where David he himself lived such a noble desire such a genuine heart and intention and purpose that he had in his mind concerning the presence of God he was like I cannot be separated from the presence of God I cannot be a king I cannot exercise my rulership I cannot be a normal family man a normal working guy if I don't have that presence of God to depend upon and so he said let me do everything possible to bring this presence of God into my environment I want to invite this presence of God into my palace into my relationships into my going out and my coming in that was his desire and i pray that we will hunger for the presence of god not just in those high moments when we have worship service or a worship song or a, a really anointed teaching in a sermon or a prophetic deliverance or a prophetic direction it is very easy to sense the presence of god when he is actually moving during these spiritual encounters however if we desire for that encounter with god's presence even when nothing is happening even when the entire atmosphere is dry even when there is no blessings being spoken over your life or no songs being sung unto god when we understand that there is a presence of god that we can tap into even when on the external even when on the outside it doesn't look like there is any presence of god when we understand that we are setting ourselves up for a great impact a great revelation that we will receive in this particular scripture it says that this ark of god it was called by the name of him who sits enthroned above the cherubims wow it is now giving us an explanation a description a way to reach out to what is hidden in this ark because it says it was called by the name of the one 
who sits enthroned above the cherubim so there was a particular name that is given to this ark and that ark was named after the one that ark was named because of the one the ark was named in synchronization and in alignment with the one who is seated between the cherubs and today if you are listening to me i pray that your hunger and your desire for the presence of god will yield to you heavenly visions and heavenly encounters encounters that is going to give you a new revelation of who this god is encounters that is going to give you a new perspective about the ways and the mannerisms of god it says that these guys they understood that this ark it is known by a particular name and that name is the name of the one who sits enthroned may the lord have a divine rulership in your life today may the lord be enthroned in your marriage may the lord be enthroned in your conversations may the lord be enthroned in your businesses in your workplaces may the lord take over in the mighty name of jesus it will only happen when we are diligently pursuing we are diligently running after we are diligently seeking the lord for his presence to come with us for his presence to manifest upon us for his presence to be revealed to us that is even in good days and bad days that is even in days when we have a lot of battles to fight and in days when we don't really have to do anything if we can constantly keep going after the presence of god the lord will begin to manifest the name the identity the revelation all those things that are necessary for us to know him better and to know him deeper he is going to allow those things to be manifested in our lives today are you ready to receive it are you ready to walk in it are you ready to be strengthened not by might not by human beings but by the spirit of god but by the presence of the lord let's pray together father we thank you for this word as we yield ourselves to the presence of god as we yield ourselves to a pursuit of your presence we pray that you would bless your children everywhere and i pray that each of them that are genuinely pursuing your presence they will have an encounter they will have a revelation they will have a new identity they will know who you are and what you're doing and what you're speaking in their lives in this coming season we thank you for your enthroned in our decisions in our lives in our choices in jesus mighty name we pray amen thank you for listening hope today's word will encourage you and build you for the day ahead god bless you and shalom